for that. Makers and distributors of prescription opioids are on the verge of a massive settlement. Local government sued trying to stop the addiction and overdose crisis. The deal in the case could mean tens of millions for the city of L.A. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim has more. The national opioids cases are coming close to their resolution. Los Angeles City Attorney Mike Fuhrer announced that lawyers for L.A. and other local and state governments across the country are close to a $26 billion settlement with the three largest drug distribution companies and the drug maker Johnson & Johnson. These companies were sued, accused of fueling the nation's opioid crisis. We sued because no corporation, no matter how powerful it is, should be able to put its profits over people's lives. Fewer says the city of L.A. could potentially receive tens of millions of dollars as a result of this tentative settlement. In addition to the money, there are other injunctive terms built into it. For example, it prohibits Johnson & Johnson from manufacturing opioids and it requires very close monitoring of the distribution and business practices related to how opioids are disseminated. Fewer says the city of L.A. was one of the first cities and counties to bring litigation. He tells us the number of opioid prescriptions has gone up dramatically every year and the number of opioid related deaths has more than doubled in just three years. The national settlement, the 26 billion dollars, does not involve compensating any individual who may have suffered in the course of the opioid crisis. Instead, all the money is to be devoted to abating the crisis moving forward. Fuhrer says local leaders are working with the attorney general about the allocation process. The money would be allocated over 18 years. If and when the city receives the money, Fuhrer tells us it'll be up to the city council to determine how it's spent. My goal is that the likely tens of millions of dollars that I expect the city of Los Angeles to receive go to targeting the intersection between substance abuse disorder and homelessness, our number one issue here in Los Angeles. Reporting in downtown LA, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. Disgraced Hollywood producer.